<sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to pass by and uh, talk about something that I thought about. I thought about something that um, used to be done back home in Zimbabwe. And uh, it has to do with, with labia minora. Uh, to those that don't know what labia minora is, it's, it's in Isindebele Amalebe and in Shona it's called Amatin Matinji. Minora is uh, the two inside the vagina, there is the vulva, right? Outside the vagina, there is the vulva, right? So the vulva consists of the inner vulva, which is the labia, and then there is the labia minora, which is like the small ear-like shaped uh, i don't even know what to call it but yeah it's ear shaped like so um growing up this is what they used to tell us we were told that we should pull the labia minora out because there's two of them so you should pull it down until it's outside the vagina and it's only i think it's only zimbabweans who do that because when i go to south africa i saw nobody with labia minoras outside their vagina so yeah i just wanted to give my opinion about that apparently the reason behind pulling it was for you to actually have easy childbirth but that was all a lie we found out that when we were older it was just merely because pull the labia minora so you can please your husband sexually at around 12 years of age that's when they advise you to pull the labia minora and um because i'm a stubborn person and i used to be very stubborn even back in the day so I was just like so why should we pull it because this is painful okay it's almost familiarized with uh, clitoris mutilation but then obviously the pain isn't that much as uh, as opposed to uh, the mutilation because the mutilation is literally cutting it off but then here we're just pulling but it's still painful and I felt like it's um, mentally draining and mentally abusive honestly speaking but then that's just me uh a lot of people did it and a lot of zimbabweans have got uh long labia minoras because they've pulled them out they've pulled them down and they've pulled them out so um it's funny how when i asked some of the zimbabwean men they told me that they never knew anything about uh the labia minoras being pulled they thought that when they find a woman like that it's she was born like that so this thing came about through women themselves thinking that by pulling that thing then it means you're gonna give your husband pleasure in bed and things like that so because i was stubborn and i didn't want to do it they said oh you're not gonna be able to give birth uh you're not gonna be able to have children and uh, me being me i was just like honey i don't want children I do not want children so I don't need this okay I do not need to do this because it's painful uh, because I've said that now the elders obviously won't know what to, to do and what to say because now they're stuck now and some of my cousins have children without the labia minora and whatnot so um, my opinion concerning the labia minora being pulled and all sorts of things is that i feel like it's so unnecessary it is very so unnecessary um first of all um i'm thankful that i've traveled out of the country to see what other people do in other countries just like south africa Botswana, and things like that i've i'm so grateful that i got to travel and see and i realized that you know what it's only zimbabweans that do this so really and truly God created me the way he did and therefore I will leave things as they are. Jaw. I'm not pulling anything. I'm not doing... Yes, I can enhance myself. I can put makeup on myself but then I can easily wipe the makeup off and it's not painful. I can put a wig on my head and uh, when I'm going to bed, remove it. It's not painful. I'm not pulling anything out of my head. So, but that is life changing. It's literally changing your organ to look some some type of way and it's a forever thing it's never going backwards until maybe you cut the labia minora out otherwise you have them hanging out of your vagina like that for the rest of your life and i'm not having it i was not having it i'm not having it and i'm not having a child do that 
That is if I have a child in future. I'm not telling my child to pull their labia minora. That's not going to happen over my dead body. Over my dead ass body. Am I going to tell my child to inflict pain on themselves? For who? For what? For what purposes? Huh? Purpose for who? Da? No, honey. Eh, eh, eh. No, we're not doing that. And you can't be inflicting pain on your body because you just want to pleasure somebody else. I feel like it's old in things. Let me just say it's old in things because I don't want to offend people who have already done it. And that is just my opinion. And uh, all I'm saying is that I would never advise my young sisters to do it. I would never advise uh, my friends to do it. I would never advise anybody younger than me, be it home in Zimbabwe, be it wherever, to do it. Because for me, it's so unnecessary. There is a lot of people who have given... Well, let's just cancel that one off because that was not the reason. The reason was that uh, you have to pleasure your husband or else your husband is going to leave you. Them being long, the husband still go. The husband still leave when they want to leave. And guess what? They go outside and cheat with people who actually don't have the labia minoras. So really and truly, and we're living in the 21st century, it is so unnecessary according to me. Imagine the pain, guys. Imagine the pain on these young girls. If it's still done up until today, no offense to everyone that's doing it. No offense to people that tell their children to do it. But guys, let me tell you something. That thing is painful as hell. Because I, I tried to experiment. I tried to see as to what really they were talking about. And I tried to hold it. And I was like, wow, I can't even hold it because it's stuck in there. So you have to literally pinch yourself. It's like you're pinching yourself now to pull these two uh, uh, menorahs out. <sighs> Let's not do this, guys. Let's just not do this to our children. Uh, Let's not do this. Uh. And of course, I always welcome your opinions. Um, you can state your opinion down in the description below. But I was just passing by and I thought to myself, let me just vent, man, and tell you guys that, you know what? I didn't do that. I did not. I was in Zimbabwe, but then I was like, uh-uh, you guys can go ahead and do it. I myself is not having babies, honey, if that's the reason. And if it's the reason of pleasing a man, Oh, you should know me better than that. I'm not here to please nobody. Yes. Well, there is a, a video of this creation, of this look. Okay? So, I'm going to link it on the description below so you can go and see how I created this look. Obviously, I wouldn't um, create this and not show you guys how I did it. So, um, after you watch this, click on the link and it will take you straight to the video. And then enjoy watching me slay this look to life. Otherwise, that was my opinion, guys. Um, other than that, see you next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me your opinions about the labia minora. Tell me your opinions about clitoris mutilation. Tell me your opinion about things that are done to girls all in the name of you need to please your husband. I love to hear it. Otherwise, ciao for now. Mwah.